Right. Congrats, 100th cap tonight. How does that feel to join the club? <laughs> uh, it feels amazing, and um, I just love the girls because they made it such a fun game, so enjoyable and so memorable. So I'm just really, I feel very fortunate right now. Was there any discussion of maybe you wearing the captain's armband, or were we going to do the later it'll be celebrated since this was a final? Uh, hopefully it'll be celebrated at She Believes Tournament. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, trivia question for you. Do you know how many other U.S. national team players have 100 caps? I believe I'm the 35th. Yes. Claire. Yes, you win a prize. Yes, what do I win? You win the tournament. No! <laughs> okay, great, that's fine, I'll take that. We'll talk about this tournament with um, such turnover in the roster, mm -hmm. you know, with injury, pregnancies, retirement, you have a lot of youth in this Honestly. tournament, so suddenly you're like one of the, you know, the top four in caps earned. How do you take those younger players under your wing and, and say, it's okay, we got this, it's a big tournament, but don't, you know, it's chill, we got this. Well, it's great because a lot of the, the younger players that came in have a lot of experience already, whether it be with youth national teams or professional, so they came in and they already kind of had a maturity about them, and really, uh, the veteran players, it's really just kind of bringing them along and kind of showing them what our standards are and, and expectations and speed of play, and then they just kind of grabbed onto it, and every day they keep getting better and better, and I think you can see it with like a player like Crystal Dunn or a Mallory Q, that every game they got better and better and made more and more an impact, so um, it's a credit to them for kind of embracing the culture and uh, being brave, and I think they, they played with a lot of courage. So you got the She Believes Cup coming up, playing England, France, Germany, it's an amazing slate. Are you, are you missing the idea of spending another week in Portugal, though, with those beautiful beaches? <laughs> You know, the European vacation of every March. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I actually really enjoy Algarve. It's a great, wonderful tournament. Always some wonderful teams there, but this is going to be a premier tournament, and we're going to have it for a few years now, and I think it's really going to be something special. That, that's going to be a, a tense one. It, it's, every single game is going to be a world-class, potentially World Cup Olympic final caliber game. One last trivia question for you, then we'll let you go. Sure. Do you remember who you earned your first cap against? Canada. Canada. Full circle. It's perfect. And my 50th cap was against Canada, too. Nice. Yeah. And you only have 92 more games by which you have to score a goal. So you break, <laughs> so you break Kate Margraf's record. I don't know. You know, like, I'll assist and be fine. I'll stop goals and I'll be fine. I'll let the goal scorer score the goals. I'm, I'm happy. But you know at some point they're going to force you to take a PK, just I, like they did her. We have already talked about it. Carly has, has talked about it, and I'm like, there's no chance you're giving me, like, a, P, a pity PK. Like, <laughs> I need to score, like, a legitimate goal for my own, like, self-belief. Self All right. Well, congrats. And Thank you very much. <laughs>